yeah, so from Tosuka we can fly up to Lorna, so we'll come down this valley here. We'll land up in the lake and hopefully up here like be offshore. It's super blue, these mountains are massive all around, these glaciers up here. We landed here uh, to a lake called uh, Lorna Lake. The contrast of colors are insane because you have like these really rocky mountains around with beautiful green and this blue lake in the middle. It's crazy. By that time, we were freezing. It was too cold for me, and then I said, no, <laughs> not for me. And then Tom was already in his normal clothes, and I had my wetsuit on, so it was my turn to go. <laughs> so I gave it a try, and actually it was pretty fun. Um, I wanted to move my feet on the fire, and I couldn't because I couldn't feel it anymore. So after a second session in the second lake of the day, we took off and we landed in another lake, in a really tiny lake, where you have this little house that uh, they built by the woods from the trees around. So we landed in this place, we dock uh, the plane right in front of the house and it was insane, you know, it was such a nice experience. They flew in the sawmill in this thing, chopped the trees down, milled the wood, no and way. he built this. Yeah. That's crazy. He's pretty good, huh? It's beautiful, mate. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you know what? I have an idea. <laughs> Let's start the fire because it's cold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Tom, you want to help me here with the fire? Shane said we're going to have to put fire somewhere and the sun is going to be on. Sona. All right, see you Tom. And he was really sick. I uh, put the wood in the sauna, uh, light up the fire. And after like two hours, the sauna was really, really warm and we had some fun jumping in the lake. There was like freezing, really, really cold. Outside was already really cold and the water was even more cold. So in the next day, uh, in our way home, uh, we decided to stop in the, another place. Hey man, why you all doing the last one? We were waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> we landed in a glacier that, yeah, it was insane, you know, like this, all of this ice coming down to the lake and like big pieces of icebergs lost around the lake. When we arrived, there was a little bit of wind, so we pumped the kite, you know, we were pretty motivated. And uh, unfortunately, the wind dropped, we couldn't kite, you know, it was uh, just not enough, you know. We, we tried and then we fell in that freezing water, man. You know, sometimes there's nothing we can do, we try our best and this is how it goes, but yeah. Uh, maybe we can come here and cut in this glacier next time, who knows? So it's five o'clock in the morning. We just arrived to the ferry. We're gonna take the ferry to Vancouver Island. Go throw your sticks and those stones right here at my iron bones. Yeah, apparently it's the only shot we have. 
Uh, we are looking for some wind and less rain. There we are. We made it. It's windy. Unfortunately, it's raining. But you know, we're gonna give it a go. Apparently, this is one of the coolest spots around. Actually, it's pretty nice. The red water. And after that, we were just uh, driving around Vancouver Island. We found out a really different and cool spot, like very small place to kite uh, around the port. It's called Port Alberni. It looks very gusty and challenging, so hopefully we will be able to kite. Tom wants to kite here, and I show him there's a sign saying no swimming. So if the police comes and kick us ass off from Canada and I never come back anymore here, it's gonna be his fault. To kite in front of the of the boat was pretty good background and uh, yeah at the end i think we had some pretty good shots and pretty good videos we were pretty stuck about it So yeah, overall it was an insane trip here, it was very good, you know, all the different places we went. We were very lucky to have Shane bringing us around with the float plane, it was very good and uh, yeah, cold for me, but good. So it was an amazing experience here in Canada, driving to a lot of places, flying to a lot of places, getting a lot of rain everything every day super wet super cold but i think that makes part of the trip and yeah it was awesome <laughs>